and Hughes here from Ignite. I hope that you're well. Um, happy Ladies Day, happy hump day, that always makes me giggle. Um, what I wanted to talk about yesterday on my Facebook page, I put on a wee, uh, some wee words there that says, if you want to know who your people are, stand in your truth. Um, and I think I wanted to just talk about that for a few minutes. I think um, if you stand in your truth, some people will come up against that every single time. So there might be know your people, you know, that way. And I don't mean be argumentative and stuff like that. I think what I, what I really mean is... Um, be who you want to be, not to suit everybody else. I think that we're all so ready to just take on the roles that are given us, the roles that are assumed for us as we grow up, the roles that we're either handed or that we just take on in our lives. And of course we need to if if you know if you've got kids and stuff and we all need to work and there's lots of stuff you need to do. But there's also an element of standing in your truth for for what you believe in um, and not just following the pack and not just saying what people want to hear, you know, so often um, I think lots of people do just say what, everybody, what they think other people want to hear and that that's just really not, it's not that healthy, is it? And what it does, I feel, is um, it takes you to a place where you forget who you are uh, and you could live your whole life, you know, being a good daughter, being a good wife, being a good friend, being a good sister, being a good mother, but never actually really being yourself. And I think that, you know, I, I sort of I feel for kids and young people just now because I think, you know, they all dress the same. If you were to describe, um, see a group of girls and you were to try and describe one of them, you'd be describing all of them. <laughs> They're wearing the same trainers and the same outfits and all the highlighter and the faces and the pouts. And it's just like, you know, what is individual about, about you and that it's okay to be individual. I love people that are quite quirky and individual, I have to say. Um, I don't think I'm quirky. I think I'm quite individual. Um, but, you know, I've always been quite good at, I think, being myself, being a, a loud lassie, if you govern a big personality, can quite often scare people away and I've, I've always been alright with that. Um, but since I've had um, my brain aneurysm two years ago almost, I'm very much in a place where I will always just stand in my truth and I'll always stand for who I am. Um, I don't put on maybe in my job, I used to sort of a... Uh, because professionally you want people to like you because I was a fundraiser and therefore you had to you had to play the game. I was a salesperson essentially. Um and therefore I would I would be, you know, whatever the people needed me to be. And I decided well, about a year ago that I wouldn't, that I would I would always just turn up in the world as me. Um and whatever that encountered I would just deal with because I don't have, I don't think at the time I had the brain capacity to actually kid on I was anybody else, quite honestly. Um, and then I just started doing it and I just started quite liking it. And actually it's been, it's been a wonderful time and um, I get, I get lots of opportunities and I'm not trying to please anybody. I'm not trying to say what you want me to say. I'm going to say what I think and I'm alright with you not liking it because not everybody's going to like it, do you know that way? And that's all right, because we're all different people and we don't all need to like the same things and believe the same things and act the same way and wear the same clothes and, and do everything the same. So that was just my wee comment, I think, for this week. You know, try and be completely yourself and see what you think, even if you know everybody else in the room is going to turn around and look at you and go, what? Because you've never said it before or because you just say, well, no, I'm not doing that anymore because actually I've been doing it for the last 25 years, but I don't like it, so I'm not doing it anymore. Um, and I think that could be interesting times. And so it takes you sort of a bag. If you want to know who your people are, stand in your truth, then you'll soon find out. And not to say that is that you turn against all your friends and family, but to just have that interesting wee query with yourself about who your people who your people are um annie 2.0 is a sort of a named myself after having the, the brain aneurysm two years ago um i feel as if annie 2.0 is doing all right but i've lost some folk along the way and i'm all right with that as well i'm totally all right with that as well so um so that was just my wee thoughts i suppose on and what's been going on in this week and um just because i had put it on facebook yesterday and, and lots of people liked it so i thought i would talk about that um i've got another ignite your life event coming up on the 19th of february um the last one was about mapping your mindset and i want to take that a wee bit further and i'm still working on what it's going to be but i do sort of i know it's about moving out with 
recognising what's your comfort zone and moving out with that and either sort of a middle ground where you're a wee bit you're a wee bit frightened maybe but you'll try it and then how do you get to those outlying lands and again that comes right back around to it about knowing who your people are because even when I take massive risks now I definitely know who my people are and therefore I know who's going to be standing there waiting on me. Actually, some of them are coming with me. You know, my poor husband's getting dragged off and doing things that he really doesn't fancy doing. But he's like, oh, all right, I'll come with you, Anne. You know that way. So um, that's what the what the workshop's going to be on. It's in the Grand Central Hotel. Um, the tickets are available on Eventbrite, Ignite Your Life, it's called. Uh, those are £10. If you haven't got the funds to do that but would love to come, then please, Please get in touch with me and I would love to have you along as my guest. Um, so I look forward to hopefully being back next Wednesday because I did forget last week. Um, so I look to, forward to being um, back next week and we'll see what's been happening um, in the world in the last in the last week for us. You know, the weeks go so fast, I think, already. That's January, nearly finished. And I hope we'll get the same summer as we got last year. Um, and... Yeah, time goes fast and we need to do what we can with it because it is promised to none of us, promised to not a single one of us. And so if there's something you want to do, then I would say just get up and start doing it. And you don't need to understand the whole journey, you really don't. You just need to understand what is the next right move. That's a great Oprah one, a great um, my friend and coach, Senga Cree Coaching, if you want to look her up on Facebook, says that to me all the time. What is your next right move? Um and so you just need to know what to do next. You don't need to understand the whole journey. So thank you for, for watching this. If you want to connect with me, I think you'll probably have seen this on my social media anyway, but it's um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, Anne Hughes or Anne Hughes Ignite. And um, there's the Ignite the Radio Show is on Mixcloud and Hughes Ignite as well. But all of those things are on all of my social medias. I'm most active on Facebook. So come over there and, as I say, get in touch. And I hope to see some of you on the 19th of February. The workshops are small. It'll never be any more than about 20 or 25 people because I think any bigger than that, then it's not a workshop, it's a lecture. And actually, I like people to have a good bit of banter with me and a wee chat and to actually talk about what's going on in their lives and what's real as opposed to what I think because I don't know it all, I really, really, really don't. I'm just talking because I figure that that's what people do when they want to go off on this journey. Um, so totally sometimes out of my comfort zone, but here I am and I'm doing it. And if it doesn't work out, that's all right. I'll find another way. Um, so you have a good week, have a good Wednesday, and I will hopefully speak to you soon. Bye.